Johnson toured the names Salt and Andreas Olin could be more well-known. Salt spent some time at Lyon while he was a kid, and he is currently starting his career with Ur Endel in the Norwegian 3rd Division. Olin studied abroad in America at the University of Virginia before being selected by the New England Revolution in the MLS Super Draft for college athletes in December. Two months later, they broke up, and it now looks like Oland is without a club. Both were raised in Brine, a small rural community in southwest Norway. They were both outstanding center defenders for the local football team and as youngsters, they gained notice abroad. Both have left enduring imprints on a specific Erling Holland's record-breaking ascension. Holland, born in 2000, was one year younger than the others. He moved up a year at age seven since he was too talented for his age group. Group. Compared to Salt and Oland, who were more advanced, Holland only had a growth surge once he was 15. The school was challenging. Alfing Bernstein, the Brian youth coach, said he really struggled in the training sessions. We didn't even try to coach him. We just let him play. Over several years, Holland perfected the technique that allowed him to score 40 of his 47 goals for Manchester City with just one touch. Holland had to be creative since he could not physically dominate either of the young center backs in Brine, at least not in the same way he can now against any defender. Being a late bloomer aided him in specific ways and sped up his development significantly. Bernstein said he had to be cunning against those defenders. His competitors were highly skilled. Erling needed to grow himself. We were unable to help. Erling should discover this independently rather than having an older man like me instruct him where to flee. He was capable of growing at his rate. The small-sided games helped Holland develop a sense of spatial awareness. There have been numerous instances of it this year, but his second goal in the 42 comeback victory over Crystal Palace in August stands out as the best. After a scrum, he pulled away from the action and nearly went past the back post, earning a tap-in. Few would have considered going there. His second goal on Saturday combined his physicality and intelligence as he slid past players from deep before lofting the ball over Leicester goalkeeper Daniel Everson. The son of Brian, unconcerned that Kevin Bruin's direct pass would make his space more minor, and the dead-eyed murderer who will make him a Premier League icon within a year unite to make him. According to Bernstein, he always plays on instinct, and that is based on experience. It's not just because of his size and strength, it's also because of his skill and cunning in deceiving defenders. He recognizes circumstances. At Brine, we had a group of 40 players. We would sometimes divide them into equal teams and play. Given that he had to adjust to a new setting, it may suit his mental health. I can see him moving as he did today in old footage from 13 years old. Compare a few of his goals with those he made during indoor practice when he was 13. They are similar yet amusing. His motions have been the same for years, as has his style. It's common for people to continue growing when they face stronger competition, yet Erling has continuously advanced to the next level. The collaboration with Brian has nearly always come naturally. The link is clear, according to Pep Guardiola. It's normal. We don't talk to it or train it. We look to Erling because we know he is unstoppable when he runs and has the space, and the ball is in the right place. Before the goal, Brian and Holland were engaged in a lengthy chat. Brian stated, we were saying there was no space. It's typical when playing against a 5-4-1 defense with a tight middle. It's essentially impossible, but he is present when it is necessary. Although it differs from Dortmund, we have dealt with it quite a bit, and if you are patient, you will have your chance. It may bring back unpleasant memories of the crowded 20-a-side games at Brian to play against teams who sat on their 18-yard line. That won't be the case on Wednesday in the Champions League, where Bayern Munich must overcome a three-goal deficit. Then the lightning-quick breach of Holland must be avoided by the Germans. You can't indeed prevail over him.